perspective, we learn very a lot, and also we worked also about changing. Before going into the details, just let me provide you the information about the team and resource persons and the advisors also. The team we have introduced in the first presentation, we have identified one more because we were lacking the climate modeling person, Sonali, and whenever we require, we will bring Gary also on board. <laughs> and the advisors are always like Peter is there, he says like he don't want to be formally involved in the team, but whenever we require, he will be always available and come on board and go out. So other than that, Agnif leadership team is there, support is there. Of course, without that one, it's not that easier to go for the coordination. The overview of the progress today, a couple of you expressed it like there were issues with the agreements. I, I'm sure like maybe one team was get clarified with the agreement and the other two, we will pretty much work on that one and as soon as we both are on the same page about the paperwork, that will be get done. And the revised work plan and timetable, we have much, much more clear now. Earlier we thought this is just organizing three workshops to enhance the capacities and uh, provide the coordination and uh, the knowledge sharing. But it's much beyond that one and we are going to see that soon. And other than that, we understood the needs of the regional teams and uh, the strength and the regional coordination team, we brought a couple of people on board. And the first regional workshop about to be completed. But finally, the conclusion is we have much clarity on our work plan and what we need to do and what we need to revise. So here is the work plan, as I mentioned, like it's beyond three workshops and the three regional training programs. And what also came up in our discussions, especially with the AGNIP leadership team, we have to have a communication and coordination platform that should be seamlessly integrated with the website. So essentially what it provides, for example, we've been discussing, we are going to organize a stakeholders meeting and we are going to plan for a regional team meeting, but we need to provide that, that's like a transparency. Anybody come on to, the pla come on to this platform, they will see what's happening in Pakistan and also they will see what's happening in Sri Lanka all these calendar items and the events and everything is available. Other than that, we are also having different communities, like the communities like uh, the crop modeling community, stakeholders community, even whomever you are contacting, farmers community. These are all communities available with the contact details and everything. We can look at that one. And most importantly, this provides an opportunity to enable the knowledge transfers and in information transfers Within the group members, because even the within the groups or the within the teams, we have the diversified uh, the teams and located in various regions. That's possible, as well as among the team members also possible. And other than that, we also post some new ideas or new thoughts, the new approaches or the new publication. Anything new you identified, you can share with the team members. Even we, we welcome your thoughts and uh, ideas to integrate into this one. This is like a collaborative effort. We all work together and bring this platform. We are aiming it to bring the first version end of December, so that would help us to go for this fast track and everything to have a better communication and the coordination. And the other than that, the regional workshops and training programs, these dates are still not clear and we are working on them and pretty much pretty soon like maybe we will get much clarity on that one as well. <coughs> For example, that we supposed to have a mid-review workshop and earlier we proposed to have that one in June or the July. Like late June or early July, we will get to know very soon. Then we, we start communicating these details or any updates or any changes to all the team members. And the training programs, for all the team members, like maybe even for each regional team, the training program needs varies from team to team. So you have seen a couple of people like, uh, for example, Murthy and with Raj Reddy, they closely work with all the crop modeling needs with the team members. For example, Sri Lankan team, they require the immediate need and we don't know. Sometimes these folks will travel there and stay some time and closely work together with the team members, make sure they are enhancing the capacities of the individual. And in other cases, maybe we can have some kind of common understanding. And for example, in the case of uh, South India, indo ganges Basin, we can have some boot camps also together. But the only challenging thing is, like for the Pakistan, 
I'm not sure how we are going to address those, the regional training needs, but uh, we have the resource person from Washington State University. I'm sure like uh, he will address some of these crop modeling uh, issues, the training needs. And of course, whenever we need, and maybe if Sonali is interested, she always can travel to pa Pakistan because she gets visa very easily. <laughs> and, the <laughs> <laughs> and the other possible opportunity is for the economic modeling, I'm not sure that would be possible with NEDU or not. But Cynthia definitely can do that. Cynthia Bantelin. Cynthia <laughs> B. Okay. And uh, I'm sure like maybe as we work together and we can figure out these issues and uh, we will bring you all on the same page to execute the activities and the work plans to achieve the outputs and the results. And the most importantly, the other, than, other thing came into our discussions is regional data and knowledge yeah. management platforms. In the data and knowledge management platform, we have several issues like uh, in few cases there are data security issues and the other cases like maybe the ownership issues. But we need to figure out what are the best arrangements and what are the best agreements we have to have. For example, even sometimes with the stakeholders like IMD and we need to have some kind of agreement with them or the arrangement with them. So because the climate data would be available to all of us, maybe that at AGNIP level otherwise at ECROSAT level, otherwise even at the regional team levels. We need to figure out what are the best possible options. We are going to invite them and have the initial discussions <coughs> probably in the first, of, uh, first week of December. Let us see what would emerge and based on that we can take a follow-up on that one. And most importantly, that's one way to bring the stakeholders data, whoever in that particular region, the same with the other teams also. And the other thing is, how do we bring this data to a common data platform to allow the global community to access this data? Because we see this data is a, an international public good and this is very essential to run various crop models or the fine tune the crop models. So we need to figure out these issues and this is not yet clear even to us. And we need to work together and get clarity and how this platform looks like. And we are also planning to involve some global stakeholders and also regional level players like the IITs and the other individuals, even the other team members. Most interestingly, when we had a discussion with all the IT folks from the regional teams, Cheryl and I had a discussion. It seems to be like lots of expertise available, and even most importantly, the passion and willingness to contribute to these platforms. That's very, very encouraging, and we need to figure out a way those are like monthly meetings, that's what we discussed, and we always have these meetings, and fig we figure out like maybe what needs to be done, and we set up some action plans, will be executed, and we see the progress, how we are progressing. So that's one thing, not yet clear, but I'm sure like maybe as we are progressing, we will get much clarity. And other than the point of contact for each expertise area, we have seen that <coughs> one, and I note it down, and we also bring that one on the communication and coordination platform. So whenever there are training programs are there, directly we will communicate or contact with those people with a copy to PIs, because PIs should be in the loop always, though we are inviting these economic expertise experts people to the economic expertise training or the crop modeling training. And the most importantly, the stakeholders engagement, this is very, very important that maybe at an individual level, but otherwise that's an institutional level. Otherwise, maybe we need to figure out what would be the best opportunities. But we have to have a periodical interaction. I think I have a slide on that, but we can see. And uh, we have to have a periodical interaction, and we have to have some kind of workshops. And uh, th the other thing is, like, whenever you are organizing the regional stakeholders meeting, some person from the, the coordination team would be happy to travel to that location and participate in that one. And if, if any diagnostic leadership team is available, if, if that requires their presence, and we can figure out those op options also. So uh, that's one thing we need to look at that one. And uh, most importantly, their engagement is required, the periodical interactions, because maybe how they are validating the ramps and the other models, what we are bringing out to see the, the national relevance and how they are going to use that one and what kind of impact we will be bringing out that one. And other than that, the policy briefs, how we are contributing, engaging with them, and also see how we are just making these impacts available 
to these uh, stakeholders and seeing the wider outreach of the impacts of the ag <coughs> project. In most of these cases, we have to have a dynamic and flexible arrangements with each team. We are ready to go for that one. And we discussed about this communication platform. This is not going to be the same one. And after having the discussions with Churl and the uh, other IT team and the Agnip leadership team, we are going to work on that and try to bring this platform before December 30th. And we discussed this one, like the periodical meeting and interaction <coughs> and target date for outreach. Sometimes, like, maybe it's always better when you are organizing these meetings, maybe it's better to give heads up to all the team members on the communication and coordination platform. So the question is, how, how can you do that? The interesting thing is you all have these IT people. We are happy to provide the admin rights to these IT folks so they can contribute directly from their respective locations rather than this is going from one side. So that's like a collective effort and the contribution from all the teams to bring the transparency and clarity what's happening at the regional team <coughs> levels to understand even at a regional coordination team and also as well as at the Agni leadership team. So the publications and other outputs, that's very, very encouraging. I didn't know, like, few of you are aiming at three, four, and even some people would like to bring out the book. That's very, very interesting and encouraging. So what we aimed at, like, one peer-reviewed research publication from each team, but uh, the, the most uh, interesting thing, or maybe the one thing what we need to do collectively, because when you know these are the research publications, uh, rightly fit into the AGMIP outputs or the publications, just collect that one, maybe combinedly maybe we will identify that one, put it into a communication platform. So that allows us to maybe see what are the opportunities to publish these articles and also sometimes we do also get these special issues. Just give heads up to all the regional team members as well as to the other regional teams also, Sub-Saharan Africa and other teams also. So everybody can look at the best opportunities to publish these articles in these journals. And other than that, the policy briefs and infographics and information snippets, as soon as we are ready with this one, the regional team closely worked with John Antley, and we figured out how we can bring out these outputs into infographics and the policy briefs, the kind of templates. We all can follow the same thing based on the needs of the particular regions. And the workshop reports, we are happy to bring out that one after each workshop. and. Uh, as Ahmad rightly mentioned, like maybe they would like to be informed about the outcome or output of the workshop. We would be happy to do that one. And immediately you will receive an electronic kind of publication within a week or two weeks. And uh, the right written publications take some time, the reports, but we will do that one. And the final book, we will be aiming at that one. And each team contribute a chapter, and we will bring an introduction chapter or something from AGMIC leadership team. So we have to have these periodical meeting and interactions and the sharing outputs among ourselves and also within your teams also how best we can do that one. <coughs>